What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about a very important yet often neglected topic when it comes to working in Revit. So uh, when it comes to creating buildings and uh, you obviously create a building on a certain site and one of the important parts of the whole uh, building construction process is adjusting the site to the new building that has been built there. And when it comes to creating a building in Revit, well, it's the same story. When you're creating a building in Revit, you have to adjust the topography to the building. And in this tutorial, I decided to share with you all of my little tips and tricks that I have learned along the way when it comes to working in Revit on how to adjust the topography to fit the shape of your building. You don't want the topography to kind of go uh, and cover your doors or windows or something like that. You want it to be adjusted to the uh, floors, uh, to the terrace to the entrance and so on. So that's the topic that we're going to be exploring in today's video. Now before I start I'd just like to ask you to subscribe because I make useful Revit tutorials uh, each week. I make multiple tutorials and also I make some courses. I make courses on both beginner, intermediate as well as advanced topics and one of those courses is a uh, whole topography in Revit course. It's a course where I take the extra time, I think like two hours or, or more, where I just explore how to, uh, how to create topography in Revit and everything that goes into that. And if you're interested in a course such as that one, check out the first link in the description just below the video. Uh, and that takes you to my website, balkanarchitect.com. There I have all of those courses. Also check out my Patreon. That's going to be the second link in the description there you can find all of my Revit project files, such as this file, which we're going to be using for this demonstration. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. Okay, so here we are in Revit, and as you can see, I already have something uh, model, something going on here. So we have a small little building that I just kind of created for this demonstration. Uh, if you're looking for this project file or pretty much uh, all of my Revit project files, you can find that on my Patreon. That's going to be the second link in the description. And also the third link in the description gets you uh, my uh, template, uh, which is what I used to create this. As you can see, it has this nice little visualization already set up, so no need to set anything up. It's already there. Okay, so now let's get started. So what we want to do is create some sort of a site around this building and then we want to adjust that site to the building so it uh, fits in perfectly. Usually when you build the building, uh, you're never going to leave the site exactly as is. You are going to be making some uh, small or in some cases large adjustments to the terrain in order to kind of accommodate your building and uh, whatever is going on around the building as far as landscape is concerned. So what I'm going to be doing now uh, is just switching here to the site plan uh, and let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. So what I want to do here is go here to the uh, masking and site tab and then go to the topo surface tool in order to create the actual topography. So once I click here, I can go here and use just the place point tool and I'm just going to be creating a series of points just kind of a little bit in front of the building. Then uh, the next series of points is going to be following here along the side. So this is basically where the building meets kind of the ground. So that should be at uh, kind of the, the height zero or something similar. There we go. And then the upper portion of the building is a little bit ab uh, above four meters or sorry, below four meters. But I'm just going to set it up at four meters. So let's say that that's what the terrain is at. And then we'll have to kind of adjust that to the building. So let's go like this. Perfect. And then one more layer of or of of, of points uh, here uh, again at four meters just behind the building. So we kind of finish that off. Maybe move this like that. Perfect. Uh, now I always like to double check everything in the 3D view. There we go. Looks perfect. So there we go. We have our terrain. We have our building. And if we just hit finish. Perfect. Okay, so this is usually what the situation is going to look like when you get started working on your uh, topography and this is usually not going to work for you. Of course, you have to make some adjustments and that's exactly what we're going to be doing.
So the first adjustment uh, when it comes to uh, playing around with the terrain and your building is of course uh, to create an opening in the terrain for your building. So we can do that by using the building pad tool. That's kind of the, the simplest approach. So uh, let's go with the building uh, uh, pad and then the easiest way to place it is to use the pick lines option. Come here to this uh, generic floor and I'm just going to use the tab key a couple of times. So just hit the tab key a couple of times until it highlights the kind of the whole floor and then here I'm just going to make a small adjustment and delete this whole corner hit delete and then use trim and extend to corner here on the modify panel and just ad adjust this just like that so it's going to give me a perfect rectangle which will correspond with the footprint of the building and it looks like this so as you can see uh, it looks pretty good right now it's fitting in at least halfway there or halfway there uh, but of course we have a lot more adjusting to do so the main problem is this portion over here where the building is supposed to follow or the terrain is supposed to follow this ramp here on the building or maybe a stair uh, it doesn't really matter you can use it in both applications and then also here we want to adjust it a little bit on this side as well and here it looks like the uh, the building is kind of synced a little bit inside of the uh, terrain so that is a problem that we need to fix up okay so the first step is going to be going here to the site plan and then in the site plan I want to select the topography go into edit surface and then let's see how many points we have here so just around the building we have these three points so what they want to do is make sure that these three points are at the same height as the uh, as this floor here that we have, uh, the, uh, that we have here, this porch or a terrace. And then I just want to make sure that it's at least aligned with the floor or perhaps even better aligned with the bottom of that floor. So let's see how something like that can be achieved. Uh, I like to do this inside of the 3D view. And then what I like to do is go ahead and turn on the wireframe view mode. Uh, now because we're into inside of the edit uh, surface uh, mode, so here if we go to modify tab it says edit surface, the surface is going to use black lines and then the rest of the of the model, the building is going to be in these gray lines. So it's really easy to differentiate between the model and the terrain. Uh, so what, we, what you want to do is go here to the align tool, make sure to check multiple alignment, and then you want to select the bottom of this whole floor. So as you can see, there we have a floor and this is the bottom. This is the top of the floor and this is the bottom of the floor. So you want to select that and then basically just align these three points. So now if I just hit finish and switch to the realistic view mode, as you can see now, it already looks better. It's already following that topography uh, fairly fairly well. Uh, now the next step that we want to do is we want to do the same thing here on the bottom. So again, select this, go into edit surface. Let's see how many points we have here. So we have again three points. So again, go here into the wireframe view mode, align, make sure that the multiple alignment is checked, go to the bottom of the plane or the, the floor, select these three, hit finish, go back to realistic, and there we go. I think this already looks a lot better and I like the way it's turning out. Uh, now the main part, the uh, main difficult issue here, and that is how to adjust the terrain to this ramp that we have here. And again, as I said, it can be a ramp, it can be stairs, it can be pretty much anything. So what you want to do in this case uh, is move here uh, to the site plan select the surface, go into edit surface. And then what you want to do here, as you can see, we don't really have any points. If I make a cross selection like this, it's going to highlight a few points up here, but nothing below. So what you want to do in this situation is go here to place point and then go with some midway point, something like two meters. And then I'm just going to place a few points here. So one, two, three, four, maybe five. There we go. Okay, now you want to switch to the 3D view and it looks fairly silly at this point, but don't worry, we're just about to fix it. Uh, again, you want to uh, view this in the wireframe mode, just like that. And then the idea is to go again to the align tool, select the bottom here, check this point. Next, you want to select another surface, this one, and then select this line, the, or this point, this point, this point, and let's see, this point looks like it's above here, so let's select that, perfect. There we go. So now 
if I just finish this edit mode and go back into the realistic view mode, it already looks a lot better. So here we still do have some issues uh, with the, the topography. It could be aligned a little bit better. So what you can do is go into edit surface, uh, try to select these few points here, and then you can use the arrow keys and then move them a little bit. There we go. Now let's select the bottom point and this one can be moved in a little bit. Uh, but still we're having some problems here and probably that's because of this point. So let's try to move that just a little bit out of the way, just like that. And then here we can play with these two points again, just using the arrow keys to move them around a little bit. And as you can see the terrain will follow that. And we have now a perfect uh, way that topography is kind of following that uh, line or off the ramp here on this building. And of course you never want it to be perfectly straight, you want to have just a, a little bit of kind of uh, a line that is irregular because topography is always going to be irregular. And then on the other side you can do the same thing, you can select the topography, go into edit surface, see what we have here. So at this point we only have, well, two points uh, and then you can play around with those if maybe it's sticking out here a little bit. Oops like that you can always move it back and play around a little bit and if necessary you can always add additional points here if it has to correspond to some part of uh, that side of the building basically. So there you go uh, if I just go here and just finish this edit mode for uh, this topography we have we have found a solution to our problem and adjusted the topography to our building. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you have learned something new and I hope this helps you in uh, working in the future. Again, as I said, if you're interested in some more advanced courses, either on topography or many other uh, advanced Revit topics, or even beginner and in intermediate topics, you can find all of that on my website, balkanarchitect.com. I have numerous courses I have a whole 16 hour beginner course and then I have a lot of additional intermediate as well as advanced courses so check it out and also for all of my project files like this file over here like this building check out my patreon that's going to be the second link in the description okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thanks for watching and I'll be back with another Balkan Arctic tutorial in a couple of days thank you for watching and have a nice day